Today we shall be looking at plane geometry 2, that is circle theorem. It is a topic that it is very challenging to students, but it is one of the most easiest of all. This topic is a major topic in core maths. Why is it a major topic? Because almost every year you see a question on it, so it is so important for you to understand it very well. Now let's consider circle and then let's label the parts. So if you have a circle, now any line which passes through the center, so let's say, also you can say O is the center. O is the center. Now this is line A, B. We have M, N. Let's consider this, that is O, K. Okay, so we are saying that AB, we call the line AB, AB is a diameter. Now any line which divides a circle into two equal parts is called a diameter. And because O is a center, we say line AB is a diameter. Now, AO, AO is the same as O. B, which is the same as OK. And this we call radius. Now, radius divide a diameter into two equal parts. Now, let's see. So, this is R, this R, this R, this also R. That is OK from center to circumference, center, circumference, center to circumference. So, you say AO is the same as OB, which is the same as OK. And all of them are radius. Now, let's see MN. Mn is a chord. Mn is a chord. So this is a chord. This is a chord. AB is a diameter. Now, a chord divides a circle into two segments. So we say the major segment and then the minor segment. So this side, that the shaded part, is a segment. And what type of segment is that? So we call this, this is a minor segment. This is a minor segment. And then the one above, the whole space is called a major segment. Let's consider the first property. The first property says that the angles a chord subtends at the circumference in the same segment are equal. The angle a chord subtends at the same segment at the circumference are equal or they are the same. Now, so if we have, let's consider we have a circle and then we have a chord. We have a chord AB. AB is a chord. Now, the angle a chord subtends at the circumference in the same segment You can see that they have a common chord AB, and this AB is subtending an angle there. So if, let's suppose that this is M, this is N, and then this is P. All that we are saying is A, M, B is equal to A, N, B, which is equal to A, P, B, angle A, P, B. All of them are the same. So if this is alpha, this is beta, and then this is gamma. All that we are seeing is that alpha is equal to beta, and this is equal to gamma. The angle a chord subtends at the same circumference, that is at the circumference in the same segment are equal. The angles a chord subtends in the same segment at the circumference are uh, equal. That's the first property. Now, the second property, the angle a chord subtends at the center is twice the angle the chord subtends at the circumference. So let's consider a circle. Then let's consider we have O as the center.
we have called A, B. Let's put this is C. And then always O, it will be stated if O is the center, it will be stated. Now, what are we saying? All that we are saying is that A, O, B is equal to 2 times A, C, B. The angle a court subtains at the center is twice the angle the court subtains at the circumference. So we are saying that AOB is equal to 2 times ACB. It means that if we have here to be x, then this is 2x. Because the angle a court subtains at the center is twice the angle the court subtains at the circumference. So clearly AOB, AOB is what two times that is A C B. Now this can be put in various forms. Let's suppose that we have this. Let's suppose that we have this. And let's suppose this is a chord. Now there's a center. This is the center. So, chord center. Now, the circumference that the chord, the angle the chord is making can also come to this side. And it is still, so if this is O and this is C, we have A, B, C. The same thing. Now, it can also come just beneath here. Still center. Let's suppose that this is M. So, what can we say? We can say that A, O, B is equal to 2 times ACB. And then also the same thing, AOB is also equal to what? 2 times angle AMB. So you can see center circumference, center circumference. All of them are the same. And clearly, from the first property, what do we know? Since the same chord. The angle here, because it is at the circumference, in the same segment is the same as the angle also over here. Now let's consider the third property. The third property says that the sum of angles a chord subtends in opposite segments add up to 180. The sum of angles a chord subtends in opposite segments at the circumference is equal to 180 degrees. The sum of angles a court subtends in opposite segments at the circumference add up to 180. So if we have a circle, we have a circle and this is a chord. Now the angle, the chord, the chord is making an angle at this segment and then the opposite segment too. So if this is alpha, and then this is beta. Now, let's suppose that this is A, B, C, D. What are we seeing? The angle a chord, so A, B is a chord. The angle a chord subtends in opposite segments add up to 180. So what that we are seeing is that what alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees at the circumference, at the circumference, opposite the chord. Hence, the sum of it is equal to 180 degrees. Now let's look at the property 4. The property 4 is saying that the angle a chord and a tangent mix is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. Now here, AT, AT is a tangent, at B. So what are we seeing? What is the property saying? The angle a chord, the angle a chord, so this is a chord, we can say that BD is a chord. So you are saying that the angle a chord and a tangent mix. So clearly this is a chord BD and then AT is a tangent at B. So if this is alpha, now this is a chord BD and this chord is making an angle at the opposite segment, which is at C. So let's suppose that the angle over here 
is beta. What are we saying? We are saying that alpha is equal to beta. Why are we saying that? The property is saying that the angle, a tangent, and a chord mix is equal to the angle the chord B the mix in the alternate segment, which is beta. We can also see that A, B, C is making an angle. Let's suppose that the angle over here is M. Let's suppose the angle over here is N. Now, what are we seeing? The angle, the chord that is AT or AB is making, which is M, is equal to the angle CD, which is the chord making at the alternate segment. So you are saying that M is also equal to N. This is trivia. What is it saying? It is saying that the angle a chord and a tangent mix is equal to the angle the chord mix in the alternate segment. Now let's see the fifth property. The fifth property says that the angle a diameter subtains at the circumference is 90 degrees. So let's see, we have a circle, and then here, oh, so here O is the center. So what are you seeing? The angle a chord, the angle a diameter, so we are saying that AB is a diameter, it is passing through the center. So the angle a diameter makes at the circumference is 90 degrees. So we are saying that ACB is 90 degrees. Let's suppose that it is also having an angle here. Now this is also 90 degrees. Why? AB is a diameter. So let's suppose that we have M here. So what are you saying? We are also saying that AMB is also equal to 90 degrees. Now AB is a diameter in the same way, it's a special chord. And what do you know? The sum of angles a chord makes in opposite segment is equal to 180. Clearly, this is 90, this is also 90. So clearly, what do you know? 90 plus 90 is equal to what? 180 degrees. Now let's see property six. Now it says that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 degree. So if we have a circle and in this circle we can see four-sided figure. So cyclic quadrilateral. What are you saying? If this is alpha and then the angle here is beta. If the angle here is M and then the angle here is N. What are we saying? We are saying that alpha plus beta opposite is equal to 180. Let's label it A, B, C, D. So you are saying that alpha plus beta is equal to 180 degrees. That is angle A, B, C plus angle A, D, C equal to 180 degrees. And then we are also saying that angle B, a, D plus angle B, C, D equal to 180. That is M plus N equal to 180 degrees. Now, property 7. It is saying that the interior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite exterior angle. The interior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite exterior angle. What are we saying? Now, if we have a circle and then in it we can see four-sided figure in it. Now, let's suppose that we have an exterior angle over here. So let's suppose that this is alpha and then this is beta. What are we saying? We are saying that alpha is equal to beta. And the property says that the interior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite exterior angle. So there's the opposite side and then the exterior angle is over here. So all that we are saying is that 
this beta is equal to that alpha. We can also have a relationship with this, and it's because it is opposite. So let's suppose that this side is M. Now let's suppose we have an exterior angle over here that is N. What are we saying? We are saying M is equal to N. Now let's look at the eighth property. The angle, a tangent, and the radius make is equal to 90 degrees. So if we have a circle, and then we have a radius. Now, who is the center? So what are we seeing if we have A, B, T, and then A, T is a tangent, it's a tangent at B. What are we saying? This is radius. So you are saying that the angle, a tangent, and a radius, and the angle the radius make is equal to 90 degrees. So this is radius, this is tangent. So the angle that is subtending is 90 degrees. Now, before we consider some past questions, let's also look at a review of plane geometry one because they combine the plane geometry one and then plane geometry two to um, set a whole lot of questions. So let's consider a review on that. Now, if you have a triangle, if this is M, this is N, and then this is P. You know, in any triangle, we know that M plus N plus P all is equal to 180 degrees. That the sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if we also have isosceles, if you have isosceles triangle, now we know that for isosceles triangle, base angles are the same. So if this side is equal to that side, then we know that the angle here M is equal to the angle here N. So you are saying that M is equal to N. That is if you have an isosceles triangle. If we have a rhombus, with rhombus, opposite angles are equal. So if you have this rhombus, now you are saying that the angle here M and then the angle here N angle here alpha, and then along here beta. So we are saying that with a rhombus, opposite angles are equal. So M is equal to N, and then alpha is also equal to beta. Now a major thing too that we are supposed to know is this. Now if we have a triangle, and then we have, let's suppose that this is the exterior angle. Exterior angle. Let's suppose we have A here, we have B here. Interior angles. Now we are saying that A plus B is equal to E. Why that? The sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. We'll be proving it later. The sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So this is the opposite interior angle. It is opposite to this. So you are saying A plus B is equal to E. Now, this is a very nice property. They like bringing questions like this. They put this in the circle, and you'll be confused where you should be able to ask. But if you know this, it will make things quite easy. Now, let's also consider angles also in a power line. Now let's see if we have two power lines. Now, this line is parallel to that line. So we have, this is a transversal. Now let's suppose that we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now, the angle C is equal to the angle F, and then the angle D is also equal to angle E. So you are seeing C is equal to F, D is equal to E, and we call it alternate angles. So alternate angles are equal. 
So you are saying that C is equal to F, D is also equal to E. Now, also, A is equal to E. The angle here is equal to the angle E. And then the angle B is also equal to angle F. And we can also say that C is equal to G. We can also say D is equal to H. And what are this? We see that these are corresponding corresponding angles. These are corresponding angles. And then also, let's see, C plus E. You see C plus E equal to, that is 180 degrees. D plus F. D plus F also equal to 180 degrees. We are saying that co-interior angles add up to 180. So C and E are co-interior angles. D and F are also co-interior angles. Now also, what can we say? A is vertically opposite to D. We are saying that A is equal to D. B is also equal to C. These are the same. Which is F also is equal to J, E is equal to H. And we call it vertically, vertically opposite angles. And they are the same. So A is equal to D, B is equal to C, F is equal to J, H is equal to E. Also, the last thing for us to note is quadrilaterals. Now, if you have a quadrilateral, Let's suppose quadrilateral any four-sided figure. Let's suppose that we have this. If this is M, angle M. If this is angle N. If this is P. And then this is K. Now let's suppose we have A, B, C, D. This is a four-sided figure. What are we seeing? If you have angle M plus angle N plus angle P plus angle K equal to 360 degrees. Sum of angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. Now, looking at all that we have done, they put all these things together in a circle term together with the properties and we are supposed to solve them. And this is why it is quite challenging to students. But then if you know that is your plane geometry one very well, you also know the properties, then there wouldn't be any question at all that would be able to beat you, you'll be able to solve all questions. So let's consider some past questions for better understanding. Now this is July 2002, question number 9B. Now, it is saying that in the diagram PQRS, that is PQRS, this is P, PQRS, our point on the circle, PQ is equal to PS, and this is telling us QPS is an isosceles triangle. If isosceles triangle, it means that base angles are equal. So if this is 40 degrees, this side too should be what? 40 degrees. Now we are being told that PQS is 40 degrees, QSR is also 25 degrees. You calculate the value of I, QPS, won't find QPS. Now let's see, QPS is an isosceles triangle and because it is an isosceles triangle if this is 40 degrees then this side also should be what 40 degrees so since that is qp is equal to ps now this implies that triangle qps is an isosceles triangle and because it is an isosceles triangle, what can we see? We can say that that is PQS is equal to PSQ. And this is what? 40 degrees. So this is 40 degrees. This is also 40 degrees. So 40 plus 40 plus the QP is equal to 180 degrees. So you can see that 40 degrees plus 40 degrees plus the QPS equal to 180. Why? Sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. 40 plus 40, this is 80 degrees. 
QPS equal to 180 degrees. So this has to move there. So we have QPS equal to 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. And our QPS equal to 100 degrees. And this is very, very trivial. Now let's see the second question as well. The second one is telling us that, so if you find QRS, QRS, what did we do? Looking at the properties that we learned, if clearly QS, we are not told that QS is a diameter. We are not told there's any center somewhere. So it is telling us that QS is a chord. And then sum of angles at the circumference, that is the angle a chord subtains at opposite segments at the circumference, add up to 180. So the angle here plus the angle here equal to 180 degrees. And because we know here, we'd be able to know also the angle over there. So with the second one, QPS plus QRS equal to 180 degrees. Now, what is QPS? We have QPS to be 100 degrees. QRS, that's what we are looking for, 180 degrees. So clearly, this has to move to the right-hand side. 180 degrees minus 100 degrees. And 180 degrees minus 100 degrees, this is 80 degrees. Now the third one says you find RQS, RQS. Now, we're able to solve this to be 40 degrees. We have this to be 100 degrees. We have this to be 80 degrees. The next one is to find RQS. Now, RQS is a triangle. Clearly, the angle here, if we if want to find the angle here, the, the sum of angle here plus the angle here plus the angle here should be equal to what? 180, and we'll be able to find RQS. So we have 80 degrees plus 25 degrees plus RQS, that is angle RQS, equal to 180 degrees. Why? Sum of angles in a triangle is equal to what? 180. Now, 80 plus 25, this is 105 degrees plus RQS equal to 180. So you have RQS go to 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. And 180 degrees minus 105, this is giving us 75 degrees. And this is something that is very trivial. Let's consider the next question. Let's consider our second example. So we are seeing that O is the center. We have A, B, C, D. Clearly, A, C is a chord. We are being told to find the angles that is X, Y, Z in the diagram. Now, what can we see? If AC is a chord, because we can say that AC is a chord, it's not passing through the center, so it's a chord. Clearly, angle Y plus, that is angle ABC plus ADC is equal to 180 degrees. So ABC plus ADC equal to 180 degrees. So what do you have? We have 126 plus Y equal to 180 degrees. So we want to find Y. We want to make Y the subject. So Y is equal to 180 degrees minus 126 degrees. And this is clearly 54 degrees. This is 54 degrees, so our y is 54 degrees. What else do we know? Center circumference. The angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the circumference. So with that one, what can we see? We can say AOB, angle AOB is equal to two times angle ABC. Now, what is angle AOB? AOB is X. That's what we are looking for. What is ABC? ABC is 54. So 2 times 54, and this is equal to 108 
degrees. Now let's see, um, also we want to find Z. Clearly, we know angles at a point is equal to um, 360. That is X plus Z is equal to 360 because the Z is a reflex angle. So we know X plus Z equal to 360 degrees. Now what is X? X is 108 plus Z. This is 360 degrees. So uh, Z will be equal to 360 minus 108 degrees. And this will give us 252 degrees. Now this is SSC 1995. The diagram shows a circle PQRS with center O. The reflex angle at O is, that is 204 degrees. Angle ORS, that is OR. S is 54 and angle OPS. OPS is X degrees. We are being asked to find X over here. Now clearly we can see that PORS is a quadrilateral and some of angles in the quadrilateral which we considered earlier is 360 degrees. Now we don't know angle RPS. How can you find angle RPS? Now if RP, clearly RP is a chord because it is not passing through the center. So this is a chord. This is a chord. And we know that the angle a chord subtains at the center is twice the angle that it subtains at the circumference. Now we'll be able to know that is the angle R, R O P. Why? R O P plus 140 is equal to 360 degrees. So that is angle R O P plus 204 degrees equal to 360 degrees. And clearly, ROP equal to 360 degrees minus 204 degrees. And this is 156 degrees. That is angle ROP. So we know ROP or POR to be 156 degrees. Now there's a relationship with this center and then the circumference over here. We know the angle a chord subtains at the center is twice the angle that it subtains at the circumference. So we are saying that ROP is equal to two times RSP. So ROP is equal to two times, that is RSP. Now, what is ROP? ROP is 156, so equal to 2 RSP. We want to find RSP, so we divide both sides by 2. And 156 over 2, we go to RSP. Therefore, our RSP, and that's 156 divided by 2, this is 78 degrees. So, the angle over here, that is RSP is 78 degrees. Now, this is a quadrilateral, and some of angles in the quadrilateral equal to 360. That's 54 plus the 78 plus X plus 204 equal to, so we have 54 degrees plus, that is 78 plus X plus 204 equal to 360 degree sum of angles in a quadrilateral. Now what is 54 plus 78 plus 204 and this will give us that's 336 degrees plus x equal to 360 degrees. So from here we know our x will be equal to 360 degrees minus 336 degrees. Now subtracting this, this will give us that is 24 degrees. Now this example for that is SSC 1998 question number 3b. You're going to do in the diagram WXYZ. WXYZ is a circle with center O, center O. XZ, that is XZ and Y, 
W Y intersect at V. So this and that is intersecting at V. Now X Y that is 110. This is 100 degrees. You are being told to find X Z Y. X Z Y. Now let's see. We can see that X Y is a chord, and this chord is subtending an angle at the center, and the same chord is also subtending an angle at the circumference. The same chord is also subtending an angle at the circumference over here. So what can we say? We can say that x, o, y is equal to 2 times x, z, y. So the first one, that is x, o, y, angle x, o, y equal to 2 times angle x, z, y. Now what is x, o, y? x, o, y is 110 degrees. 2 times x, z, y. I want to find x, z, y. So what do you do? We have to divide both sides by 2. It's 1, 1, 0, all over 2 equal to x, z, y. So 1, 0 divided by 2. This is 55 degrees equal to x, z, y. So we know the angle here, x, z, y, to be 55 degrees. Now from the first property, we know that the angle a chord subtains at the same segment at the circumference are equal. So x, z, y is also equal to what? x, w, y. The second one says you find w, x, z. That is w, x, z. Now, we had here to be 55 degrees. Clearly, this side to be what? 55 degrees degrees. We want to find here. Now, we know that this is 100 and this is vertically opposite to W, V, X. So clearly, we know that also we can say that X, W, Y is equal to X, Z, Y and this is equal to 55 degrees. Also, W, Z, W V W V X angle W V Z equal to angle Z V Y and this is equal to 100, 100 degrees. Now this is 100. So clearly, what can we see here? We can see a triangle. You can see a triangle. That is W V X. It's a triangle. And sum of angles in a triangle equal to 180 degrees. So 55 plus V, that is the V is 100 degrees, plus the angle over here should be equal to 180 degrees. So all that we can say is that that is 55 degrees plus 100 degrees plus that is angle W, X, Z should be equal to 180 degrees. Now this is giving us, that is 155 degrees, W, X, Z, which is equal to 180 degrees. So this has to move here, so W, X, Z equal to 180 degrees minus 155 degrees. And this is equal to, we have W, X, Z, 180 minus 155, which is 25 degrees and this is very easy now let's consider example five that this is july 2005 question number 11 b in the diagram o is a center so o is a center of the circle the point a b and c are on the circumference of the circle angle cao that is cao and aob and a o b are 32 degrees and 140 degrees respectively which you calculate I, O, B, C, that is O, B, C. And then also C, O, B, C, O, B. So let's redraw this. And then let's say that this is X, the angle here is X, and then the angle here is Y. What can we see? We can see an isosceles triangle. What is O, C? O, A is the same as O, C. And this implies that triangle AOC is an isosceles triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. And hence, what can we see? X is equal to 32 degrees Y. This is the same as this. So the base angles are 
equal. So x is equal to 32 degrees. Now, what again do we know about? Since we can say that O, that is AB, is a chord. And because AB is a chord, we can say AOB is equal to 2 times, that is ACB. What is AOB? That is 140 degrees. And that is 2 times ACB. So 140 degrees over 2 equal to ACB. 140 divided by 2, this is 70 degrees. So therefore, ACB is equal to 70 degrees. So clearly, x plus y is equal to 70 degrees. x plus y equal to 70 degrees. But then what is x? We had x to be 32. So we have 32 plus y equal to 70. y equal to 70 minus 32. And this is giving us, that is 38, and y is equal to 38 degrees. Now, also what can we see? OC is the same as OB. And because OC is the same as OB, it is telling us that triangle OBC is an isosceles triangle. Why? OC is the same as what? OB. So we know that OC is equal to OB. And this implies that Y, that is, this implies that the triangle, angle O, C, B, is equal to O, B, C. And this is equal to 38 degrees. So the first one says we should find O, B, C. So our angle O, B, C equal to 38 degrees. Now the second one says we should find COB, COB. Now COB is a triangle, and sum of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we have Y plus another Y plus, that is BOC or COB, COB equal to 180. Now we have 38 plus 38 plus COB equal to 180 degrees. 30 plus 30, that is 68 plus 16, so that is 76. So we have 76 plus COB equal to 180 degrees. We want to find COB. COB. So we have 180 degrees minus 76 degrees. And then 180 minus 76 degrees. So we have 180 minus 76. 180 minus 76, and this is 104 degrees. That's angle C, O, B. Now, this is SSC 1999 question 7. B. Clearly, DC is parallel to AB. You have been told that the AB is a diameter. It says that in the diagram, not drawn to scale, AB is a diameter of the circle ABCD. DC is parallel to AB. So, this is parallel to AB. And BAC is 25 degrees. So, the angle here, that is 25 degrees. It's in the question. She calculates ADC. That is ADC. And then CAD. We should also find CAD. So clearly, let's see. So let's redraw this. Let's redraw. So that's the diagram over here. Now, clearly, D or AD is a chord. We can see this over here. And we can also see that CB is also a chord. Now, because AB is a diameter, the angle a diameter subtends at the circumference is 90 degrees. So you can see that since that is AB is a diameter. This implies that that is ACB is equal to 90 degrees. And because it is equal to 90 degrees, what does it say? Now, we want to find ADC. Clearly, if we know the angle over here, we can add this angle plus that angle, which is equal to what? 
180 degrees because AC is a chord and then some of angles or some of angles that a chord makes the angle a chord make at opposite segment at the circumference is equal to 180 so the angle here plus the angle here equal to 180 so if you know this you can add it to this and be able to know uh, A, D, C. So that is in triangle A, C, B. What can we say? 25 degrees plus 90 degrees plus A, B, C. That is angle A, B, C equal to 180 degrees. Now 25 degrees plus 90 degrees. This is giving us 115 degrees plus A, B, C equal to 180 degrees. So A, B, C, that is 180 degrees, and it's 115 degrees. So A, B, C, that is 180 minus 115, and this is giving us 65 degrees. So the angle here, that is 65 degrees. Now, so this angle plus that angle equal to 180. So we know that A, D, C plus a, B, C equal to 180 degrees. AC is a chord, so the angle here at the second phase, but the angle here at the second phase should be equal to 180 degrees. Now, I know that is A, B, C. A, B, C is 65 degrees. A, D, C. So A, D, C is 180 degrees. So that's 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. And this 115 degrees. So that's the first one. Now, so this one is, that is 115 degrees. Now, AC is also a transversal because this and that is parallel. AC is a transversal and clearly if this is 25 degrees, this side too is what? 25 degrees. We are here to be 65 degrees degrees. Why? AC is a transversal. So the angle here alternates to the angle here. So we can say that that is DCA is equal to that is CAB. And this is 25 degrees. Alternate angles. Alternate angles. Now what can we see here? We can see that ADC is a triangle. And sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180. So 115 plus 25 plus that is D, that is CAD equal to 180 degrees. Equal to 180 degrees. Now let's add this 5 to this. That's 120. So we have 140. So 140 degrees plus C A D equal to 180 degrees. C A D equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. And this is equal to 40 degrees. Now that's a past pressure. You have been told in your diagram, not drawn to scale. C is the center. So C is the center of the circle PQRS. STQ and PCQ are straight line. So STQ then PCQ are straight lines. And RS is parallel to QP. So that is RS is parallel to what? PQ. Now, you are being told to show the triangles CQT, CQT, and RST are similar. That is this triangle and that triangle are similar. So if you're able to show that two and two angles are equal, then these things are similar. Now, what can we see? CTQ is vertically opposite to STR. And because this is parallel, that is PQ is parallel to SR, then the angle here alternates with the angle over there, and that angle too will be equal. So, the first one, we know CTQ is equal to, that is RTS. That is vertically opposite angles are the same. That is vertically opposite angles. That's it. And then also, what can we see? S, Q, C, 
SQ, that is C, is equal to RSQ, or alternate angles, alternate, alternate angles. So what can we see? Clearly, we can say that, therefore, triangle C, Q, T, and triangle R, S, T, R, S, T are similar. Now the B is saying that we should find R, S, Q. That is what the B is saying, find R, S, Q. Now, we have drawn it, we have been told that C is the center. And because C is the center, what can we see? PQ, PQ is a diameter. And this implies that that is angle PSQ equal to 90 degrees. The angle a diameter subtends at the circumference is 90 degrees. So the angle over here is 90 degrees. Now the first one says you should find R S Q. You want to find the angle over here. Clear the angle over here alternate with the angle over there. So sum of angles in the triangle, considering P S Q as a triangle, so sum of angles in it will be equal to 180 degrees. So that is in triangle P S Q 65 degrees plus 90 degrees plus PQS equal to 180 degrees. Now 65 plus this, this is 155 degrees. PQS equal to 180 degrees. So we have PQS equal to 180 degrees minus 155 degrees. And 180 minus 155 degrees, this would give us, that's 180 minus 155, this is 25 degrees. But then what can we see? We can see clearly that PQ is parallel to SR. And because PQ is parallel to SR, angle PQS alternate with RSQ. So that is PQS is the same as RSQ. And this is equal to 25 degrees. That is alternate angles. Therefore, the first one says that we find RSQ, which is 25 degrees. So this side, that is 25 degrees. Now the next one is saying that we should find angle C, that is refined angle C R Q. Angles that is C R Q. Now, what can we see over here? This is 25 degrees, and this angle is having a relationship with that angle. Now I want to find RCQ, RCQ, RCQ. Now what can we see? Clearly, if clearly RQ can be considered as a chord, and then the angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the circumference. So with that one, what can we see? We can say that QCR is equal to what? two times that is Q S R. Now Q S R is 25. And this is equal to 50 degrees. Now what are we looking for? That is R C Q. So angle R C Q is the same as the Q C R. And this is equal to 50 degrees. Now that's July 2006. Question number three. A. In the diagram, you have been told O is the center of the circle. That is OQR, OQR, and then OQR, that is 32 degrees, and MPQ, that is 15 degrees. You calculate QPR, we want to find QPR. Now let's see, OQ is the same as OR. Why? It's a radius. 
And clearly, if OQ is the same as OR, then triangle QOR can be considered as an isosceles triangle. And if it is an isosceles triangle, if this is 32 degrees, then the angles over here should also be what? 32 degrees. We can add find the angle over here. And we know that since QR is a chord, the angle the chord makes at the center is twice that which it makes at the circumference. So let's withdraw and then let's consider it over here. So we are saying that this side is also what? 32 degrees. Why are we saying that? Clearly OQ is equal to OR. And this implies that OQR is equal to ORQ. Is equal to what? That is 32 degrees. Because why? We have an isosceles triangle. Now some of angles in the triangle add up to what? 180. So we can say 32 degrees plus 32 degrees plus QOR equal to 180 degrees. 32 plus 32, this is 64 degrees plus QOR equal to 180 degrees. QOR equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees. And 180 degrees minus 64, this is 116 degrees. So the angle here, that is 116 degrees. We want to find QPR. And what do we know? The angle a chord subtains at the center is twice that which it subtains at the circumference. So clearly, QOR is equal to two times, that is QPR. Now what is QOR? 116. Two times QPR. Clearly, 116 over 2 equal to QPR. I want to find QPR, so I divide both sides by 2. And this is 58 degrees. Therefore, angle QPR, that's 58 degrees. So the angle over here, that is 58 degrees. So that's the first one. Now the second one is you find MQO. You should find MQO. So there's the first one. Now, clearly, MQ is a chord, and the angle a chord subtains at the center is twice that which subtains at the circumference. So, chord, the same chord subtaining an angle at the circumference. So, if this is 15, it means this is 30 degrees. Now, MO is the same as OQ. So, this side and that side are equal. So, if this is X, it means that the angle here too is X. We want to find the x over here. So all that I've done over there, now the i, i, all that I've done, I'm saying that m, o, q, m, angle m, o, q is equal to two times angle m, p, q. Now what is m, p, q? m, p, q is 15. M O Q, and clearly we have thirty. We have thirty degrees. Also, M O is the same as O Q, and this implies that O M Q is equal to O Q M. Now, we have an isosceles triangle there. Some of angles in the triangle equals what? 180. So we have x plus x plus 30 degrees equal to 180. This is the same as x. Now we have 2x plus 30 degrees equal to 180. 2x equal to 180 degrees minus 30 degrees. And this is 150 degrees. So we want to find x divided by 2, 150 degrees divided by 2. One, this is 75. So our x is 75 degrees. Clearly, MQO, angle MQO equal to 75 
degrees. Now let's knock deck 20. 13. Question number 12a. You have been told that in the diagram WXYZ, that is WXYZ, are points on the circumference of a circle center O. Angle XOY, that is XOY, is 60 degrees, YWZ, 45 degrees, and then XYW, which calculate ZYW. ZYW. We want to find the angle over here. Now, clearly, what can we see here? This is center circumference. So if you know here, we'll be able to know the angle over here. Now, we can consider XZ also as a chord. And clearly, the angle over here plus the angle over here will be what's what? 180 degrees. So with this, what can we say? We can say that X, O, Y, it's equal to two times, that is x, w, y. Now, what is x, o, y? This is 60 degrees. 2x, w, y. We can divide here by 60, so we have, we can divide by 2. Therefore, our x, W Y equal to 30 degrees. So the angle over here is 30 degrees. What do we know? The angle at W plus the angle at Y equal to what? 180 degrees. Because if we consider exit as a chord, so that is all that we can say is that 30 degrees plus 45 degrees plus the angle that is 80 degrees. Plus, that is what you are looking for, Z, Y, W, Z, Y, W, equal to 180 degrees. Now, 30 plus 45, that is 75 degrees. 75 plus 80, that is 155 degrees. Plus Z, Y, W, equal to 180 degrees. So clearly, we have Z, Y, W equal to 180 degrees minus 155 degrees. And 180 minus 155, this is 25 degrees. And that's very easy. Let's consider the next question. Now let's consider, this is Novdeck 2019, question number 5A. Now we have been told that in the diagram, PQR is a tangent to the circle at Q. So you can see that clearly PQR is a tangent at Q. And then NQR 58 degrees, clearly you can see Q, and then that is 46. And then we have been asked to find MQN. We want to find MQ, MQ, and we want to find the angle over here. Now, this we have two approaches, but then from the same result, why? The angle accord and a tangent, that there's a chord, and then there's a tangent. The angle, the chord, and the tangent mix is equal to the angle, the chord mix in the alternate segment. So we have this, so QR, and then the chord, Q, and it is subtending an angle of 58 degrees here. So this is also subtending, this will subtend an angle over here. So when this comes here, this plus this plus that, will be equal to what? 180 degrees, or we can also say that what? The angle here is equal to the angle over here, that is MQP is the same as MNQ. Why? The angle, the chord, and the tangent mix is equal to the angle, the chord mix in the alternate segment. So in the nutshell, what can we say? All that we are saying is that, that is angle MNQ is equal to MQP, which is equal to 46 degrees. Now, some of angles on a straight line add up to what? 180 degrees. Now, let's see. Let's see. So, we know here this side to be 46 degrees. Now, this is a straight line. So, clearly, this plus this plus that equal to 180 degrees. So, in a nutshell, we have 46 degrees plus. MQN 
angle MQN plus that is 58 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now 46 plus 58, this is 104 plus MQN equal to 180 degrees. Now MQN equal to 180 degrees minus 104 degrees. Now what is 180 minus 104? And this is just 76 degrees. So this is the first part. This is question one. Now let's also see question two. Now question two, we are being told that in the diagram, ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. And then A, B, and D, C are produced to meet at Q. If D, Q, C is 76 degrees, that is D, Q, here is Q, is 76 degrees, and B, P, B, P, C is 52 degrees, and B, C, P is X, that is B, C, P is X. We should find the value of X. What can we see? We can say that DCQ is the same as PCB. So if this is X, this side is also X. So what can we say? We can say that DCQ, DCQ is the same as BCP. And this is what? X degrees. What can we also see? Now, ABC is the exterior angle for what? X plus 52 degrees. So what can we see? B, now there's an angle at B, so we can say C, B, A is equal to 52 degrees plus X. What do we know? The sum of the opposite interior angle is equal to what? The exterior angle. So this plus this is equal to that. And then what again can we also say? We can also say that we can also know the angle over here. So we know the angle here. We can also know the angle over here. Now, this plus this equal to the exterior angle. That is x plus 76 is equal to what? The exterior angle. We can also say that that is A, D, C equal to x plus 76 degrees. The sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. Angle. Now we can consider A, A, C as a chord, and if A, C is a chord, some of the opposite angles at the circumference is equal to 180. So the angle here plus the angle over here equals 180 degrees. So we can say that that is A, B, C plus A, D, C. This is equal to 180 degrees and this implies that is 52 degrees plus x and then plus the ADC which is x plus 76 degrees and this is equal to 180 degrees. Now so we want to find so clear what can we see because AC is a chord, the opposite angles at the circumference equal to 180. So this angle plus that angle equal to 180. Now, what is 52 plus 76? And this is 128. So we have 2x plus 128 equal to 128 degrees equal to 180 degrees. 2x will equal to 180 degrees minus 128 degrees. Now 180 minus 120, this is 52 degrees. We want to find x, what do you do? Divide both sides by x, by 2. What is multiplying it? Clearly x is equal to 26 degrees. Now let's consider the first question. The diagram above ABCD, that is ABCD, is a circle. D A E D a, E, C, B, C, B, E, A, B, F, A, B, F, and D, C, F are straight lines. They are straight lines. You are being told if Y plus M equals 90 degrees, you find the value of X. Now, Claire, let's see something. What can we see over here? The sum of opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. 
So clearly, y plus x is equal to the exterior angle over here. That is y plus x. This plus this is equal to this. Now, this one too is vertically opposite to this. So clearly, the angle over here too is x. And what can we see? And because this is a straight line, it means this plus this equal to the exterior angle over here. So this is what x plus m. Now we can consider db as a chord. And since db is a chord, the angle here plus the angle here equals what? 180 degrees. So in a nutshell, what am I saying? We are saying that y plus x, or that is angle dcb equal to y plus x. Why? The sum of the opposite interior angles equal to what? The exterior angle. And then also, we can also say that angle ABE is equal to angle CBF. And this is equal to X. Why? Vertically opposite angles are equal. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, we can also say that D, A, B is equal to X plus M by the sum of the opposite interior angle is equal to what? The exterior angle. Now, what do we know? Opposite angle, the sum of the opposite angles that is from a chord at the circumference is 180. So the angle here plus the angle here is 180. So that is, we are saying that DCB plus DEB, angle DAB, equal to 180 degrees. And what do you have? That is X plus M plus Y plus X equal to 180 degrees. X plus X, this is 2X plus Y plus M equal to 180 degrees. But then from the question, but we are giving Y plus M to be 90 degrees. So let's put this in this. We have 2X plus 90 degrees equal to 180 degrees. So our 2x equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. 2x equal to 90 degrees. What to find is you divide both sides by 2. So we have x to be 90 over 2. And this is 45 degrees. Now there's a question. It says that in the diagram, O is the center of the circle, OQR is 32 degrees and MPQ is 15 degrees. You calculate QPR, MQO. I want to find QPR and then MQO. Now, let's consider a chord over here. That is MQ as a chord. So clearly, if this is 15, then the angle here to be what? 15 degrees. But even before that, we want to find QPR, center circumference. Now, OQ is the same as what OR, why it is radius. So OQ is the same as OR. And this implies that angle OQR equal to angle ORQ. And this is equal to 32 degrees. Now, what do you have? You have 32 degrees plus 32 degrees plus angle Q O R equal to 180 degrees. Now 32 plus 32, this is 64 degrees plus Q O R equal to 180 degrees. So uh, Q O R equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees. And this is equal to Q O Q O R we got one one six degrees. Now we want to find Q P R. There's a relation between center and circumference. So angle Q O R equal to two times angle Q P R. Now Q O R is one one six degrees. Two times Q P R. Now, we want to find QPR, so we divide both sides by 2. So divided by 2, that is our QPR. So therefore, our 
QPR equal to 58 degrees. So that is our QPR, 58 degrees. Now let's see the second part, MQO. Now, this is a chord, same segment 15, chord, same segment 15. So clearly, what can we say? That is the II part. We can say that angle M, P, Q is the same as what? Angle M, R, Q. And this is equal to 15 degrees. And we are using this because of the chord M, Q. Now what can we see? We can see we are getting, and then also look at the Q, R, it's a chord. And we have center circumference. So also, what can we say? We can say that um, Q, P, R is equal to Q, M, R. And this is equal to what, 58 degrees. Now what can we do? We can consider triangle M, Q, R. And when we consider triangle M, Q, R, what can we see? Clearly, that is 15 degrees plus, that is 15 degrees plus the angle here, which is 58 degrees plus 32 degrees, and then plus the MQO, MQO is equal to 180 degrees. Now, 58 plus 30 to this is giving us that is 90 90 plus 15 that is 105 105 degrees plus m q o equal to 180 so our uh, m q o this has to move to the right hand side 180 degrees minus 105 degrees and this is 75 degrees we are being to, this is we are being told in the diagram A, B, C, and D are points on the circumference of a circle. That is A, B, C, they are points on the circumference of the circle. And then we are also told that X, Y is a tangent. X, Y, this is a tangent at A. We should find A, B. So we want to find A, B, C. Now clearly, because we have a tangent and a chord, we bring this property in. The angle the chord and the tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. So clearly we can see this is 20 degrees. And if this is 20 degrees, you can see that this chord is making an angle of what? 20 degrees over here. Clearly the angle over here too is what? 20 degrees. So that is the reading I've done over here. So clearly the angle over here is also 20 degrees. So what am I saying that A and this is D. That is A, D, B is equal to B, A, Y. And this is what? 20 degrees. Why? The angle a chord and a tangent mix is equal to the angle the chord mix in the alternate segment. Now, C, B, Y is a straight line. Clearly, we know that this angle plus that angle is equal to the angle over 20 plus 60. So this, the angle over here is 80 degrees. Why? Why so? Why? We know that the sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. So we can say that that is angle ABC equal to 20 degrees plus 60 degrees. And why? That the sum of the opposite interior angle is equal to the exterior angle. Therefore, that is ABC equal to 80 degrees, 20 plus 60, that's 80 degrees, this plus this equal to what? The 80 degrees, that's the first one. Now the second one says CAX, let's see, CAX. Now, CA is a chord, C is a chord. 
And this cord is making an angle of 80 degrees. It means that this one is what? 80 degrees. So the other part to C E X is the same as C B A. And this is equal to 80 degrees. Therefore, C E X equal to 80 degrees. Then the last one, A B Y. A B Y. Now this is 80 degrees. Sum of angles on a straight line equals 180. So if this is 80, here becomes what? 100. So we know that 80 degrees plus that is A B Y equal to 180 degrees. So A B Y equals 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. And this is 100 degrees. Now that's an object 2016, question number three. You're into that in the diagram, PQ, that is PQ, is a tangent at Z. If PQ, you have been to the PQ, is power to WY, is power to WY, and then WZY, WZY is 120, WXY is M, and then WYZ, WYZ is Y and yzq is x, which you find that is i, the value of m, i, i, that is x. Now, I want to find m. Now, w, y, we are not told it is um, a diameter. Clearly, it is a chord, and because a chord, the sum of the opposite angles at the circumference is equal to what? 180 degrees, so m plus 120 equals 180 degrees. So the first one, we have m plus 120 degrees equal to, that is 180 degrees. Clearly our M is equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. And this is giving us 60 degrees. Our M is 60 degrees, 180 minus 120. This is giving us 60 degrees. Now the second one is saying that we should find X. Now, because P, K is parallel to that is um, WY, clearly the angle here alternates with the angle over there. And what can we say? We can say that WYZ, angle WYZ is the same as angle YZQ, which is equal to what? Y, which is equal to what? X, Y alternate, alternate angles are equal, alternate angles are equal. What again can we see? What again can we see? We can also see that we know the angle WZ is a chord. So the angle PZ, angle WZP is equal to what? WYZ. Angle, that is WZP is equal to angle WYZ. And this is also equal to x, y. We know that y is equal to what? x. So it is equal to the y. This y, so this is y. But we know that this y is the same as this y, so we can say this one is x. So what can we say? x plus 120 degrees plus x equal to 180 degrees. Why are we saying that? This is a straight line, and sum of angles on the straight line equal to what? 180. This is also what? x. Well, this is the same as this x. So this x, so this plus this plus this equals 180, you can find x from here. So you have 2x equal to 180 minus 120 degrees. 2x equal to, that is 60, we want to find x, so we divide it by 2. So x equal to 60 all over 2, and this is 30 degrees, which is very trivial. Let's consider the next question. Now this is a past question, we have into the diagram PQRS, that's PQRS. It's a cyclic quadrilateral. SR, that is SR, is equal to RQ. It's equal to RQ. And then we're also given that SRP 65, XRP 50, 65 degrees, RPQ, that is 48. RPQ is 48. We want to find PRQ, we want to find PRQ. Okay, let's withdraw. That's what we have here. We want to find PRQ. Clearly, what can we say? 
when you take QR as a chord, the angle a chord subtains at the circumference in the same segment are equal. So if this is 48, this is what? 48 degrees. What did I say so here? QPR is equal to QSR, angle QSR, which is 48 degrees. So this is 48 degrees. Now what were we told? SR is equal to what? RQ. We're also given that SR is equal to RQ. This implies that triangle SRQ is isosceles. And for isosceles, base angles are equal. So this side is what? 48 degrees. So this implies that that is R. S Q angle R S Q equal to angle R Q S, which is equal to 48 degrees. Now, Claire, what do you have? Sum of angles in the triangle is 180. So this angle plus this angle plus this plus that equal to what? 180. So we have 48 degrees plus 65 degrees plus the angle here, which is P R Q. plus the 48 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now 48 plus 65 plus 48, this equal to 161 degrees, plus that is P R Q equal to 180 degrees. P R Q equal to 180 degrees minus 161 degrees. And this is just equal to 19 degrees. That's angle P R Q. Now this is a past question. We have been told that in the diagram P S is parallel to Q R. That is P S is parallel to Q R. And then we also been told that T Q is a tangent to the circle at P. So T Q is a tangent at P, which means it's a straight line. We have been told to calculate T P S. That is T P S. Now tangent and then chord. We know that the angle the tangent and the chord mix, you go to the angle the chord mix in the alternate segment. So now sure the angle here is equal to the angle over here. So how can you get the angle over here? We know PRS is a triangle. Some of angles in the triangle toward 180 degrees. So we have PRS, that's angle PRS plus Angle that is that is 54 degrees plus 79 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now 54 plus 70 and this 133 degrees 180 degrees. So P R S equal to 180 degrees minus 133 degrees and 180 minus 133 degrees. This is giving us that is 47 degrees but that is t p s is equal to what p r s which is 47 degrees therefore t p s is 47 degrees so the angle over here this is 47 degrees 47 degrees and it's the same thing here which is also what 47 degrees now what can we see we want to find r q that is p p r q we want to find p q r p q r now let's look carefully this is a power line this is also a power line, so you can extend this power line. Clearly, what can we see? The angle over here is corresponding to the angle over there. So that is PQR is the same as TPS. Now the second one, TPS, angle TPS is equal to PQR. And this is equal to 47 degrees. Therefore, P 
PQRS 47 degrees. Now let's consider this past. Let's consider this past question. We are being told in diagram O is the center of the circle. And then TS, TS is equal to SR. TPR, that is X degrees. TQR, that is Z degrees. So we should find the relation between X, Y, and then Z. So we want to find the relation between X, Y, and then Z. Now, let's see. We know that TR is a chord. So TR does chord. And because of that, what can we say? We can say that TPR is equal to TQR. And this is, and this implies that the x is equal to y. Because this is equal to this. Y, TR is a chord. So this is equal to what? That. Now, what can we also see? Let's see. This is clearly, look at this. OT is the same as OP. Or OQ is the same as what? OR. Anyhow, that we want to put it. Now, OP is the same as what? OT. Now, this implies that POT, that is triangle POT, is isosceles. That is isosceles. And because it is isosceles, it means that this angle, x over here, is the same as the x over there. So, what are we seeing? We are saying OP. T is equal to O T P and this is equal to what? X. And because this is equal to X, what can we see? You can see that X plus X equal to what? Z. Why? Because this is the exterior angle. This is the exterior angle. This is the opposite interior angle. So you can say that X plus X equal to what? Z. But we know x equal to y. So we can say that x plus y equal to z. And this is the relationship between x, y, and then z. Now let's see. So this is the first one. This is the first one. This is the first one. Now let's see the second one. The second one, we want to find stp. We want to find stp. Now, p, q, p, q, no, that is PR. PR is a diameter because this is the center. It is telling us that the angle over here, this angle, is equal to 90 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So if you're able to know the angle over here, we just add it to the angle over there. So because PR is a diameter, the angle it obtains at the circumference is what? That is 90 degrees. So because that is, we are giving PR, that is diameter. This implies that angle PTR equal to 90 degrees. Now we don't know the angle here. So let's say this is A and then this is also A. Now if you're able to know A, then you'll be able to know STP. You want to find STP. So let's find A. Now, this isosceles, S is the same as what? SR. So if this is A, this is also what? A. So we can say that that is A plus A plus 118 degrees equal to 180. Now this is 2A plus 118 degrees equal to 180 degrees. So 2A will equal to 180 minus 118 degrees. And this will give us 62 degrees. We have 2A. So clearly, we divide both sides by 2. 62 degrees all over 2. So this is cancelling out that. This will go here. We have 31. A is 31 
degrees. Now we want to find STP. Therefore, STP and STP. Now STP that is A plus 90 degrees and 31 degrees plus 90 degrees and this one 21 degrees. Now there's a past question. We're going to do the diagram above shows a circle PQRS. That's PQRS. And then we have been to that um, CPSR is a rhombus. That is CPSR. This is a rhombus. And because a rhombus, opposite angles are equal. We have been to PQR is Q degrees. We should find I, Q, I, I, X. We should find Q, X, and then Q, R, S. Okay, so let's withdraw. That's what we have over here. Now, C is the center, it's given to us as C being the center. So because C is the center, what can we see? PCR, that is angle PCR, is equal to two times angle PQR. Now, what is PQR? PQR is Q, so you have two Q. Now, since that is P, C, R, S is a rhombus. Now, for rhombus, opposite angles are equal. So, P, C, R, angle P, C, R is equal to angle P, S, R. Therefore, P, S, R, angle P, S, R is also 2Q. So, this is 2Q. Clearly, this is what? 2 Q. Now, PR is a chord. And what do you know? Angles subtended by the chord in opposite segment add up to 180 degrees. So, what do we see? That is Q degrees plus 2Q degrees equal to 180 degrees. 3Q degrees equal to 180 degrees. I want to find Q. Divide both sides by 3. 180 degrees divided by 3. So this is dividing this. Now you have this to be 60 degrees. So you have Q to be equal to 60 degrees. Now the next thing to that you want to look for, so that is the first one, Q, which is 60 degrees. Now I, I says that we should find that is X. We want to find the angle over here, X. Now C is the center. And because C is the center, what do we do? CP is the same as CR. Why? Radius. So which implies that angle CPR equal to angle CRP. Let's suppose that it is A. Let's put here to be A, and then let's also say this is A. But CPR is isosceles, so these angles are equal. Clearly, let's consider triangle KOPR. And that we can see Q degrees plus the whole angle here, that is X plus A plus X plus A equal to 180 degrees, sum of angles in a triangle. Now, clearly from here, what is our Q? We know our Q is 60 degrees. Our uh, Q is 60 degrees. Now, X plus A, X plus A. This is the same as 2X plus 2A equal to 180 degrees. Now, we can find A from here because we know the angle. This is 2Q. We know Q to be 60 degrees. So the angle over there is what? That is um, 120 degrees. So that is in this triangle. That is P, C, R. This is 120. This A, this A. So you can see that A plus A equal plus 120 degrees equal to 180 degrees. 2A equal to 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. And this is 60 degrees. 2A equals 60 degrees. We want to find A. Divide both sides by... Two. So our A is 
20 degrees. Now substituting it into this, therefore what do you have? 60 degrees plus 2x plus 2 times 30 equal to 180 degrees. Now 60 plus 60, that is 120 plus 2x equal to 180 degrees. 2x, we have 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. And this is equal to 60 degrees. Therefore, 2x over 2, 60 degrees over 2. 2 good 60, that's 30. So we have our x to be 30 degrees. So we know the x over here to be 30 degrees. Now, the next thing is for us to find, say that you find QRS. Now QRS is made up of what? The angle over here plus this angle. So what is this angle? Let's see. But we know that this angle plus that angle are equal. Rhombus, opposite angles are equal. The angle over here plus this angle over here, opposite angles are equal. We can add all of them, and because it's a quadrilateral, a CRSP is a quadrilateral, it will be equal to 180, that, no, it will be equal to 360, because some of angles in a quadrilateral equal to 360 degrees. Now, so when you take that is quadrilateral, CRSP. Now, the angle here, this angle is the same as that angle. So you can see 2Q plus 2Q plus, now, the angle here is the same as this angle. So you can say that 2CRS equal to 360 degrees because the angle here is the same as this angle. Now, this is giving us 4Q plus 2CRS equal to 360 degrees. What is Q? Q is 60. Now what is 4 times 60? This is 240 degrees plus 2CRS equal to 360 degrees. So we have 2C Rs equal to 360 degrees minus 240 degrees. This is 120. That's 2 C R S. We want to find C R S. So C R S. Now 120 divided by 2, and this will give us 60 degrees. So our CRS is 60 degrees. Now, what is X? Therefore, our QRS. Now, this is what? X plus CRS. We got X to be 30 degrees. And CRS is also 60. So this is 90 degrees. Now, the B plus is we show that triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle. Now, for equilateral triangle, all the angles must be equal, and this must be equal to 60 degrees. So it's telling us, let's show if this is 60, the angle here to 60, the angle here to is what? 60. That is all that we are supposed to show. Now, we know P, Q, R, this is equal to Q, and we add the Q to be 60 degrees. Now, Q, P, R. Q, P, R is the same as X plus A x plus a. Now, what is x? We had x to be 30 degrees. And what did we also get for a? We had a also to be 30 degrees. And this is also equal to 60 degrees. Now, the last part, also QPR, QRP. QRP is the same as x plus a, which is 30 degrees plus 30 degrees. And 30 degrees plus 30 degrees is 60 degrees. Clearly, we know that P, Q, P, R is the same as Q, R, P, which is the same as P, Q, 
R, and that is equal to what, 60 degrees. Therefore, PQR, that's triangle PQR, is isosceles. Let's consider this past question. In the diagram, RQS equal to 40 degrees, that is RQS. RT is equal to PT, so let's say RT equal to PT, and clearly PTR is an isosceles triangle, hence the base angles must be equal. We are being told that RMS equal to, that is RMS, that's Y. You find the value of Y. So this is the diagram that we have. Let's draw it, so I have sketched it. Now, clearly what can we see? RS, so clearly RS is a chord. And because RS is a chord, what can we see? The angle a chord subtends at the circumference in the same segment are equal. So this implies that that is RQS is the same as angle RTS. And this is the same as 40 degrees. So I know here this place is 40 degrees. How can I find this? Now, some of angles on the straight line add up to what 180. So I'll be able to find the angle over there. So I can say that RTS, angle RTS plus angle RTP equal to 180 degrees. What is RTS? RTS is 40 degrees plus RTP equal to 180 degrees. So clearly RTP equal to 180 degrees minus 40 degrees. And this is 140 degrees. That is RTP, 140 degrees. The angle over here, 140 degrees. Now I want to find why. Let's see. Because RTP is an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So let's suppose that this place is X. So if this place is X, then it means that this place to is X. Why? It is an isosceles triangle. So how can we write it? You can see that, okay, let that is K O R T to be equal to X. And if Q R T is equal to X, this implies that that is T P Q or T P R T P Q or T P R is also equal to what? X. Since that is RT is equal to PT. Because it is that, we say that it is an isosceles triangle, hence the base angles must be equal. Now, when we consider triangle, that is in triangle Q R. M, that is QRM. What can we see? We can see that this one is an exterior angle of this and that. So this plus this equal to what? Y. So what can we see? We can say that X plus 40 is equal to Y, which implies that that is X will be equal to Y minus 40. And this is coming as a result of sum of opposite interior angles equal the exterior angle. So we can see that x minus s is equal to y minus 40. Now in triangle that is R T P in this triangle R T P we know sum of angles in a triangle equal to 180. So the angle here plus the angle here plus the angle here should be equal to 180. So you have x plus x plus 140 equal to 180 degrees. Now this will give us 2x plus 140 equal to 180 degrees. But what is y? Let's say this one is equation 1. This one is equation 2. So you can see that put... 1 into 2. This implies that 2. What is the x? y minus 40 plus 140 equal to 1 
80 degrees. Now this is giving us 2y when it's 80 plus 140 equal to 180 degrees. Now what do you have? We have 2y. Now this minus this, this will give us but this one come here. So you have 2y equal to 180 minus 140 degrees plus 80 degrees. Now 180 minus it, this will give us 40 plus 80 degrees. And this is giving us, that is 120 degrees. We want to find y. So we divide both sides by 2. So y equal to 60 degrees. Okay, let's see the second part. It says that xy is a tangent to a circle. L, M, N at the point M. X, L, N is a straight line. And then you are being given N, X, M to be 34 degrees. And N, M, Y to be 65 degrees. We are being told to illustrate the information in a diagram. So let's illustrate this information in a diagram. So we have a circle. We have a circle and we have a tangent. Now, so we have been told that xy is a tangent at, so xy is a tangent at m. That's what we have been told. And then we are, say, we are also told that xln is a straight line. So xln is a straight line. So let's suppose that we have this as well, so x, l, n is a straight line. Now, we are being told that n, x, m, n, x, m is 34 degrees. So this place, that's 34 degrees. And then we are also being told that n, m, y, n, m, y. A 65 so let's bring this to this one so this one that is 65 degrees okay now let's join this L to M wow that's what we have now we are being told to find the value of alpha MLS want to find M L X want to find the angle over here now what can we say? This is a chord. This is a tangent. What do we know? The angle a chord and a tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. So it means that if this is 65 and this is the chord, we have the tangent. The angle the chord is making in the alternate segment, so this one is 65 degrees. So we have N, M, Y is the same as N, L, M, which is equal to 65 degrees. The angle over here is equal to the angle over there. Now what, do we, what are we looking for? M, L, X. So this plus this is equal to 180 because this is a straight line. Some of angles on a straight line equal to 180. So clearly we have 65 degrees plus M, L, X. That is angle M, L, X equal to 180 degrees. So our M L X we call to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees. And that's 115 degrees. That is M M L X. That is alpha. Alpha. Now let's see what is the beta saying? The beta is saying that we should find L N M. So find L N M. I want to find the angle over here. What can we see over here? Over here, we can see that, we can see triangle. Let's consider that it's triangle X, N, M. What do we know? The sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So the angle over here plus the angle over here equal to the angle over there. We want to find L and M. We want to find the angle over here. So you know that 34 degrees plus L and M, that is angle 
equal to the exterior angle, which is 65 degrees. Wow, that is very simple. So from here, which property did I use? That is sum of the opposite interior angle is equal to the exterior is equal to the exterior angle. So clearly our L and M equal to 65 degrees minus 34 degrees and this is 31 degrees. Okay, let's consider this past space. Here's that in the diagram below, O is the center of the circle. A, C, D, B. If C, A, O, that is C, A, O, 26 degrees, and A, O, B is 180 degrees, you calculate O, B, C, that is O, B, C. And then also C, O, B, that is C, O, B. Now, what can we see over here? From center to circumference, center to circumference, center to circumference. And it's telling its radius. And it is the same. And since it's the same, OAC is an isosceles triangle. OCB is also an isosceles triangle. Now, what do we know? This, we can say that AB is a chord. We have center circumference relationship. So if I know the angle here and I know the angle here, I'll be able to know the angle over here, then over there too. So let me redraw this. So that's what I've redrawn over here. Let's say that this is X and then this is Y. Now, from here, what can we see? We can say that since AB is a chord, AB chord, this implies that AOB, angle AOB is equal to times that is ACB, angle A. See, what is AOB? That is 180 degrees to ACB. So 130 degrees over 2 equal to, that is ACB. And this is 65 degrees equal to ACB. So the angle that is ACB is 65 degrees. Now, what is the ACB? ACB is the same as what? X plus Y. So that is X plus y is equal to 65 degrees. What do we know? OAC is an isosceles triangle. And if it is an isosceles triangle, the base angles must be the same. So we have OAC triangle OAC being that is being an isosceles triangle says OA is equal to OC. Now, because of the work we see, we can see that X is equal to 26 degrees. Let's put X equal to 26 in this. So you know 26 degrees plus Y equal to, that is 65 degrees. So our Y will be 65 degrees minus 26 degrees. So our Y is 39, our Y is 39 degrees. Now, if this is 39 degrees, if y is 39 degrees, remember O, also what can we see? OB is the same as OC. And this implies that angle OBC is the same as angle OCB which is the same as Y. So this implies that our OBC is equal to 39 degrees. Now let's see the second part. The second part says that you find that is COB, COB. That is the angle over here. We know here to be 39, 39. So considering the triangle, sum of angles in it equal to 180. So we'll be able to find that is the COB. So over there, you can say 13 or y plus y plus that is COB equal to 180 degrees. Now this is giving us 2y COB 180 degrees. Now, two, what is y? The y is um, 39 
degrees plus COB equal to 180 degrees. 2 times 39, this is 78 degrees. COB equal to 180. You want to find angle COB. So you have 180 degrees minus 78 degrees. Now 180 minus 78, this is 102 degrees. Now that's Novdeck 2019, question number 13E. It's saying that in the diagram, PQ is a tangent to the circle ABT at T. So PQ is a tangent to the circle at T. Now ABC is a straight line, that is ABC. We are being told it's a straight line. Uh, and TC bisect, TC bisect BTQ. It means that it divides it into two equal parts. Now we are going to define the value of M. Now this is a chord and a tangent relationship. We know that the angle a chord and a tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. So this is tangent, this chord, the angle here is equal to this. This very right one too is also equal to this. So I've demonstrated it over here. So we know that the angle a chord and the tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. So in the north shore, if they 60, it means that this side too is 60 degrees. How can we put it? That is ATP, angle ATP, equal to angle ABT, which is 60 degrees. What again do we also know? Now, we know this is also a tangent. This is also a chord. There's an angle, so if this is 44, it means that this one too is what? 44 degrees or we can write it outside which is 44 degrees also b a t is equal to angle b t q which is 44 degrees in the question we're given that c t bisect b t q and because it is bisecting it it means that angle b t c is equal to c t q which is 44 divided by 2, which is 22 degrees. So since TC bisect, that is angle B, T, Q, this implies that B, T, C is equal to angle C, T, Q, which is equal to 44 divided by 2 because it is by certain which is equal to 22 degrees. So this side is 22 degrees, this side too is 22 degrees. Now we have triangle TCB. If we like, we can find the angle over here. We add or we equate to, that is um, 180, or the angle here plus the angle here equal to what? The steel angle. That property is so important. The sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. So this plus this equal to what? The angle over here. So what can we say? We can say that 22 degrees plus M equal to 60 degrees. Why? The sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. So our M will be equal to 60 minus 22 degrees. And this is equal to 38 degrees. That's very trivial. Now let's consider this past question. The diagram shows a circle ABCD, that is ABCD, with center O and radius 7 centimeters. The reflex angle AOC is 190 degrees and then DAO is 35 degrees. So we want to find AB, so we want to find ABC. Now this center circumference. What do we know? The angle a chord subtains at the center is twice the angle that it subtains at the circumference. So that is this and this is having a relationship. So clearly, we know the reflex angle, reflex angle that is AOC equal to two times ABC. What am I talking about? That is a reflex angle over here is twice the angle over there. Now what is that reflex angle? That is 190 equal to 2, that is A, B, C. Clearly 190 
all over 2 equal to 2 a b c all over 2 now uh, a b c now 190 divided by 2 and this is giving us that is 95 degrees so the angle over here is 95 degrees now the next one says you find a d c you want to find here a d c so this is i i i you want to find a d c a d c now this is a cyclic quadrilateral and with a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles add up to what 180 so the angle over here plus the angle over here equals 180 so you can say that a b c plus a d c equal to 180 degrees now what is a b c that is 95 degrees a d c equal to 180 degrees i want to find a b c so i have to group like things equal to 180 degrees minus 95 degrees and 180 minus 95 this is giving me that is 85 degrees now let's see that we say that using the diagram in a above calculate correct to three significant figures the length of so the length of the first one arc abc that is arc abc and then they called AD, called AD. And I also want to find this chord, which is AD. Now, the first one, arc ABC. Now, so for, a car, for an arc, then there's a sector. So you can see sector AOC. And we know this is 190, but the whole thing should be equal to 360. So, one, so 360 minus 190. So this side will be, that is one. 70 degrees and then we'll be able to find we know the radius to be seven centimeters then we'll be able to find the arc that is a b c so let's demonstrate it that is the first one now arc a b c and there's a reflex angle this was 190 degrees clearly here will be 170 degrees now the arc is giving us theta over 360 times 2 pi r. In this case, our r is 7 centimeters. So, arc A, B, C, the angle, which is 170 degrees, all over 360 degrees times 2 pi. It was, the pi was giving us 3.142 times the r, our r. A seven. Now, when we calculate this, we are getting that is twenty point seven seven seven. But then the question says that we should do it correct to three significant figures. So this is the first, second, this is the third. So twenty point eight centimeters. Now this seven. What is following it is also seven, which is above five. So it can change the 7 to 8. So that's what we have. Now the second one is saying that, the second one is telling us that we should find the arc, that is, you find the chord AD. We want to find this chord, which is AD. So we can bring a line that is from this side all the way to that side. Now this is also... Um, radio, this radio. So if this is 35, it means this side to is what? 35 degrees. You'll be able to know the angle here. And probably we can apply, this is 7 centimeters. This is 7 centimeters. We can apply um, the cosine rule and then we can find the length of the chord AD. Okay, we want to find chord AD. So let's bring the line from the center. The center is O to the circumference of D. Now, this and that are the same. So this can also be said to be 35 degrees. Now, what do you have? Let's consider the triangle over there. Now, this is A, this is D, this is O. Now, this is 35 degrees. This also 35 degrees. Let's also find the angle here. We don't know the angle here, so let's see the angle here 
is x. This is a triangle, so you have 35 degrees plus 35 degrees plus x equal to 180 degrees. 35 plus 35, this is 70 degrees plus x equal to 180 degrees. So our x is equal to 180 degrees minus 70 degrees. And this is 110 degrees. The angle here is 110. Now I want to find AV. This is very trivial. You can apply the cosine rule. And what does the cosine rule say? That is where the angle is facing, the square of it equal to, remember this is seven, this is also seven centimeters. So what can we say from here? Applying the cosine rule, that is we can say AV square equal to OA square plus OD square minus 2OA plus OD cos the angle, cos the angle, which is 110 one, one degrees. Now we are looking for AD, but we know OA. OA is 7, this is also 7, so substituting we have AD square equal to OA, that is 7 square plus 7 square minus 2 times 7 times 7 cos the angle, which is 110 degrees. Now, this is, that is 49 degrees plus 49 degrees minus 2 times 7 times 7, that is 98 cos 110 degrees. Now this is also 98. 98 cos 110 degrees. That is our AD square. We want to find AD, so the square can change to square root. So you have our AD equal to square root, that is 98 degrees minus 98 cos 110 degrees. And finding this, we are getting that is 13.99657. But then the question says to three significant figures. This is the first, second, third, but this will change this. And this will come in change. So we have 14.0 that is centimeter. This is three significant figures. Now I want to prove that angles in the same segment are equal. Now let's consider a circle. So this is the center. So let's say that this is A, B. Now, this chord, so you have a chord here, A, B. Chord A, B is obtaining an angle over here. And then this one too is obtaining an angle over here. Now let's say this is P, and then this is also Q. Let's call this x1, let's call this x2. Now what do we know? We have center circumference. So, and then a chord. So what do we know? Let the center O. A, O, B is equal to 2 times, that is A, P, B. So this is equal to 2, X, 1. That is A, O, B. What can we also see? That is A O B angle A O B that is A O B equal to two times two times that is A P A Q B A Q B and that is two X one. Now you have A O B equal to two X one. No, this is two X two. A O B this is two X two. We have A O B equal to X1, we have A O B equal to 2X2. So what can we say? We know A O B is equal to that is another one, A O B. Now what is A O B first one? 2X1. 2X2. Clearly X1 equal to what? X2. And we have been able to prove which shows that A P B equal to angle A Q B. So we've been able to show that angles in the same segment are equal. 
So this angle in the same segment at the circumference. Same segment at the circumference are equal. Now let's see this past here. It says that prove that the angle which an arc of a circle subtains at the center is twice that which it subtains at any point on the remaining part of the circumference. So that is any point on the remaining part of the circumference. So let's consider a circle center and then probably any part on the circumference. Let's say this is P. Now this is A, C, B. So A, C, B is the arc of a circle and then P is any point on the circumference. Now let's consider a line from P through the center O. Let's call this, okay, let's call this X. Now let's say that this is x1, let's say the angle here x x1, the angle here too is x2. Then let's also say this one is also, that is y1, and then this one too is y2. Let's suppose that we have this. So, looking at the circle, you can see that ACB, that is arc of the circle, and then P is any point, any point on the remaining, on the remaining part of the circle. So P is any point on the remaining part of the circle. Now clearly, let's see, what can we, so we want a relationship between the that is the circumference and then the center now what can we see o p a it's an isosceles triangle hence base angles are the same so we can also see that um, x2 is the same as what x1 now what can we also see we can also see that the sum of the opposite interior angles go to what? the exterior angle so this is x1, x2. It means that when you add this plus this, it's equal to this. So the angle over here, this angle, can be said to be x1 plus x2. In the same way, the angle over here is the same as y1 plus y2. Let's demonstrate it over here. Now, that is angle O, angle O, triangle O A P is an isosceles triangle. This implies that what can we see? We can say O A is the same as O P. And this implies that X1 is equal to X2. Also also, x1 plus x2 is equal to angle AOX. Why? We have this. Let's consider this true in. Let's call this x. So this is our x1, x2. This are y1, y2. So also, that is, we have a here, b, p, and then there's the center, o. So the angle over here, see this plus is equal to this, the exterior angle. So the sum of the opposite interior angle is equal to the exterior angle. 
In the same way, also, what can we see? Y1 plus Y2 is equal to AUX, BUX. Y1 plus Y2 is also equal to what? Angle B O X. And also we know Y1 is the same as Y2. Now, from here, what again can we see? Now, what is angle A O B? Angle A O B is the same as angle A O X plus angle B O X. What is A O X? A O X is the same as X one plus X two, and this one is in Y one plus Y two. But then X one is equal to X two, and then also Y one equal to Y two. This implies that that is A O B is equal to X one plus X one, then plus Y one plus Y one because they are the same thing. Now this is two X one plus two Y one. We can factorize two out. We have X one plus Y. One. That is A O B. Now, what is A P B? Angle A P B is the same as X two plus Y one. But we know X two is equal to X one, and this implies that A P B is equal to that is X one plus Y one. Hence. Hence, AOB, angle AOB is equal to clearly two times that is APB. Because AOB, what is AOB? That is 2x1 plus y1. What is APB? That's this. And this has been shown, which is very easy. Now let's consider this pathway. See that in the diagram above, MP is a tangent to the circle LMN, so LMN at M. If the chord LN, so you can see chord LN is parallel to MP, MP. You have to show that the triangle LMN is isosceles. LMN won't show that it is isosceles. Now let's consider the same diagram. So we have the same diagram over here. This is M. Now, let's consider a line through the center. So if this is the center, let's consider a line from, that is N to the center, M to the center. Let's name here O. Now let's suppose that this one is X1, this one is X2. Now let's suppose this is Y1, this is also Y2. Now. OL is the same as OM. So let's see. OL is the same as OM. And it's the same as ON. This is telling us that, that the triangle OML is isosceles. And then also triangle OMN is also isosceles. Now, because of that, what can we see? We can say x1 is equal to s2. So you can see, now this implies that x1 is equal to s2. And here to y1 equal to y2. Now, what can we see? Because OL is equal to ON, what is it telling us? It is telling us that the base angles to must be equal. So let's suppose that this is alpha 1. And this is also alpha now let's suppose this. Clearly this is 90 degrees. This is R. Then we have here to be Q. So clearly the angle here is 90. The angle here also is 90. Now what do you think will be here? Now this plus this will be equal to this. But then we know X1 is the same as X2. So this is the same as 2X1. Because X1 plus X2. But then it is the same thing. So you can say x1 plus x1, which is 2x2. Now, what angle also can it be here? Also, we know y1 is equal to what? y2. So, over here to 
this side would also be what? That is 2y1. Now, this is a right angle triangle, right angle triangle. Now, sum of angles in a triangle equal to what? 180. So, we know 2x1 plus 90 plus alpha 1 equal to 180 degrees. So, alpha 1 is equal to, that is, 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 2x1. And this is equal to 90 minus 2x1. That is alpha 1. Now, alpha 2 plus 2y1 plus 90 degrees is also equal to 180 degrees. So if you want to find alpha 2, alpha 2 is equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 2y1. Now this is 90 degrees minus 2y1, that is alpha 2. But then we know that O n l that is triangle o n n o n l is isosceles now because it is isosceles what does it mean it means that alpha one is equal to alpha two and what can we see from here clearly clearly we can see that that is that is 90 minus 2 x 1 equal to 90 minus 2y1. Now let's bring this one here. The 90, 90 will cancel each other. So clearly from here, this 90 will cancel the 90 here. And this, so we are going to get, let's bring this one, let's bring this over here. So you have 2y1 equal to 2x1. Because the 90, 90 will cancel each other. So you have y1 also equal to what? x1. So we know that alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 and y1 also is equal to what? x1. Now, we want to show that triangle LMN, that is LMN, is isosceles. And so what we want to show, if it is isosceles, then clearly, clearly, the angle here plus the angle here should be the same. So let's see. Now, we know, we know that alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2. And then also alpha 1 plus x1 is so equal to alpha 2 plus y plus y1. Now, this are the same because this one is equal to this. So anything that we add, so if we add x1 to this, we know that x1 is the same as what y1. But x1 is the same as y1. So clearly, alpha 1 plus x1 is the same as alpha 2 plus x1. And this is also equal to this. So clearly, it is the same thing. Therefore, triangle L, M, N is isosceles. So clearly, so we can also deduce that if there is a vertical line passing through the center to the circumference, then clearly the angle here will be what, 90 degrees. And the angle here will be equal to what, the angle over there, which will make triangle L, M, N, isosceles. Now let's consider this very nice past question. It says that in the diagram, A, B, and C are points on a circle with center O. So A, B, C, they are points on a circle with center O. A, T is the tangent to the circle at A. So A, T, so tangent to the circle at A. The line D, that is DOE, the line that is DOE, you mean to that DOE is perpendicular to AB. So DOE is perpendicular to AB. And then AB is equal to AC. TAC is 72. TAC is 72. Want to find BCE? Want to find BCE? Now we have tangent, and then AC is a chord. So we know AC to be a chord. We know the angle a chord and the tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. So clearly, this is 72 degrees, and this because of this AC, this is this angle is equal to the angle 
over here. Because the angle, the cord, and the tangent mix is equal to the angle, the cord mix in the alternate segment. So what can we see? We can say that that is C A T is equal to angle that is A B C, which is equal to 72 degrees. So this is 72. It is telling us that the angle here is also 72 degrees. And then we are being told that AB is equal to AC. Hence, this is an isosceles triangle. So base angles equal. So this is what 72 degrees. So what can we say? Since AB is equal to that is AC, this implies a triangle ABC is isosceles triangle. And this implies that that is CBE is equal to angle ACB. And this is also 72 degrees. Now what are we looking for? It says that we find BCE. Therefore, so CBA, we want to find BCA. BCA. So CBA is equal to ACB. Therefore, our CB. Therefore, the first one that is BCA. BCA is 72 degrees. Now, that is this side. BCA. BCA. That's 72 degrees. That's the first one. The second one says you find CAD. We want to find CAD. Now, because this line, that is the line DE, is passing through the center O, it is telling us that BDA is an isosceles triangle. And because it is an isosceles triangle, it means that the angle over here is equal to the angle. The angle over here is equal to the angle over here. So it means that that is the angle from all this side to this side. This is also 72 degrees. Why? Because DE is by certain BA and it's passing through the center. Clearly, which we want, and we have been to it's also 90 degrees over here. So it is telling us that that is B, D, A, S, and isosceles triangle. Okay. Now, I want to find the angle over here. I want to find that because we know that this is 72 degrees. We want to find the angle here, and after finding the angle, we can subtract from the 72. So we want to consider C, B, A, a triangle C, B, A. So now, that is in triangle CBA. We have 72 degrees plus 72 degrees plus angle CAB, CAB equal to 180. 72 plus 72, this is 144. Plus CAB equal to 180 degrees. So our C, A, B equal to 180 degrees minus 144 degrees. Now this is 36 degrees. That is angle C, A, B. That's 36 degrees. So the angle over here, the angle over here is 36 degrees. But we know that is, we know angle B, A, D to be also 72 degrees degrees. Now, since DE passes through the center and by set that is B A this implies that that is triangle B A D is isosceles. It's isosceles. 
is isosceles triangle. Now, it means that D B E that is angle D B E is equal to angle B A D, which is seventy two degrees. Now B A D is the same is the same as B A C B A C that is angle B A C plus angle C A D. Now, what is angle B A C? Angle B A C is the same as C A B. So this is 36 degrees. What is C A D? We don't know C A D, but then this is 72 degrees. Now here we can find C A D. So therefore C A D does angle C A D. This has to go here. We have 72 degrees minus 36 degrees. And this is giving us 36 degrees. That is angle C A D, 36 degrees. Now the last one says you find C D A. We want to find that is C D E. We want to find the angle over here, C D E. Now this side is 36 degrees. This side is also 36 degrees. So we want to find the angle that is C D E. Now 36 degrees plus this is equal to 72 degrees. Okay, so the angle here plus the angle here is equal to this the exterior angle. So what can we say? We can say that C A D, that is angle C A D, C A D plus C D A, C D, that is angle C D A, is equal to, that is B C A. Go B C B C A. Because the sum of the opposite interior angles is equal to what? The exterior angle. Now C A D, that's 36 degrees plus C D A. Then what is B C A? This is 72 degrees. So clearly C D A is equal to 72 degrees minus 36 degrees. And this is 36 degrees. That is angle C D A. Now let's see the B. B is saying that use your result in A to show that A D bisects angle T A C. We want to show that A D. AD bisect angle angle TAC TAC. Now, clearly, what do we know? We know TAC TAC is giving us that is seventy two degrees, and then we know that AD. We know that. C A D C A D is equal to thirty six degrees, and also, and also, D A T D A T and D A T is also what thirty six degrees, which implies that which implies. That that is C A D angle C A D is equal to angle D A T, which is equal to that is T A C divided by two, which is seventy two divided, which is thirty six degrees. Therefore, A D by set T. A, C. It is dividing it into two equal parts. Now let's see the second one. The second one says that we should show that CD is equal to CE. Now, CD, we want to show that CD is equal to what? CE. CD is equal to CE. Now what can we see? We had this triangle over there. 
and then we had the angle, this is D, this is C, and then this is A. Now we had the angle at D to be 36, and then we had the angle at A also to be 36. So clearly you can see C, A, D is equal to angle C, D, A which is equal to 36 degrees and this implies that CA is equal to CD. Now this is question number three. It is saying this is not drawn to scale in the diagram. IJKL, that is IJKL, are points on a circle such that JIL, that JIL is 3Y and KM, angle KML KML is 2Y and KLM, angle KLM is 55 degrees. We are being told to find the value of Y and that is what I have redrawn over here. Now, when I consider triangle LKM, what do I know? I know that the sum of the opposite, two opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. Clearly, when I consider that is triangle KML, then the angle here, let's see, the angle, the angle here is equal to this plus this, is equal to that. So the angle here becomes 2y plus 55 degrees. What do we know? The sum of the two opposite interior angles is equal to the exterior angle. So hence that is angle L K J is equal to what? That is 2y plus 55 degrees. This plus is equal to what? Is equal to that. Now, opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to what? 180. So that is angle J I L plus angle J K L equal to what? 180 degrees. So we have 3y plus 2y plus 55 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now this plus this, this is giving us, that is um, 5y plus 55 equal to 180 degrees. So from here, our 5y will be equal to what? 180 minus 55 degrees. And clearly from here, this will give us, that is 125. We have uh, 5y. So working for y, 5y over 5 equals 125 all over 5. So clearly our y equal to 25 degrees. Now, not done, this not done to scale this circle question. The diagram shows a circle center O. So the center is O with C and D as points on the circumference. So C and D are points on the circumference. Now DQ is a tangent produced at Q. So DQ, this is a tangent produced at Q. Now, the way in which you find the value of M. So let's redraw. So that's what we have redrawn over here. Now, first thing we have to note is that clearly, you see from center to circumference, this is the point C. Now, OC is the same as what? OD, which is telling us that triangle COD is an isosceles triangle. If it is an isosceles triangle, what can we see? Then we can see the base angles are equal. So if this is 25, clearly the angle here too is 25 degrees. Now, we know that DQ is a tangent, hence OD is normal to it, which is the radius. 
and the angle this obtains is 90 degrees. So the angle over here, this is 90 degrees. Now, what can we see? We have a triangle over here. Now, when you consider that this triangle C, D, Q, when you consider that, what can we see? Some of angles in it will be equal to what? 180 degrees. So the angle here, that is 25 degrees, plus the angle here, which is 25 degrees plus 90 degrees. That's the angle over here, everything over here, plus M, this is equal to what? 180 degrees. Now, 25 plus 25, 50, 50 plus 90, that's 140 degrees, plus M equal to 180 degrees. Clearly, our M will be equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. And our M is equal to 40 degrees. Or what can we see? Now, let's see. We can see that this can be also, this can be the exterior angle. And with this, let's see. This plus this is equal to the exterior angle over there. That is the angle over here is the same as 25 plus 20, which is 50. So this 50 plus the 90 plus M would also be equal to what? 180. And then we can find the value of M. Or another approach also. Now let's see. Uh, we can, you see the point here. Let's suppose that the point here, let's name it F. And we know D here. So let's bring the chord, consider a chord, a chord DF. Now, we have center and then circumference. And we know that the angle a chord subtains at the center is twice the angle that it subtains at the circumference. Hence, if this is 25, then clearly this will be what? 50. Why? The angle a chord subtains at the center is twice the angle that it subtains at the circumference. Just like we're saying that we know this is the exterior angle, so this plus this, you see, equal to that. Now, because we have ODQ as a triangle, the sum of angles in it will be equal to what? 180. So any of them that you'd choose, it is correct. Now back 2020, question number 11, A. Now this is a circle theorem question. So you have been to A, C, and D. That is A, C, and D are points on the circle center O. So this is center O. Line B and B, C are tangent to the circle. So um, that is B, A, and then B, C are tangent to the circle. And the A, D, C is 47 degrees. A, D, C is 47 degrees. The way that we find the value of Y. So how can you find the value of Y? Now, we can see that A, C is a chord. And then the angle a chord subtains at the center is twice that it subtains at the circumference. So what can we say? That is angle AOC is equal to two times angle ADC. Now what is angle ADC? ADC is 47. And then two times 47, this is just 94 degrees. So angle AOC. So the angle over here is just 94 degrees. Now, the, now, the angle, this BA is a tangent, BC is a tangent. Now, the angle, a tangent, and the normal mix is 90 degrees. So, the angle over here, this is 90 degrees. And this is, this is a normal, this is 90 degrees. What do you have? You have four-sided, one, two, three, four. Now, this BC and then BA, the length are all the same. And hence, we can see that this line BC is the same, this is the same as that. Now, the line that is bisecting, that is the center, which is coming from B. So it means that this line is the same as that line, and this is also the same as that. Hence, if this is Y, you see the angle here, it bisects it into two equal parts. The line BO bisects the angle two into two equal parts. 
So the angle here, if this y, this is also y because it bisects the two equal parts. So some of we can see that here we have four-sided figure, which is a quadrilateral that is B C O A. This is a quadrilateral. Hence y plus y, y plus y plus the angle here 90 plus the angle here 94 plus the angle over there 90 this is equal to 360 degrees now y plus y this is 2y and the 90 plus uh, 90 plus 90 plus 90 this 270 plus 4, so that's 274 equal to 360 degrees. Now, 2y equal to 360 degrees minus 274 degrees. And clearly, we have our 2y to be equal to 86 degrees. And dividing through, our y becomes 43 degrees. This is let's take notes why are we saying this is why and this is also why the line b o is by setting the angle at b so if it is by setting the angle at b it means if this is y the angle over here is also y and then we can see four-sided figure b a o c which is um, a quadrilateral so some of angles in the quadrilateral equal to 360 degrees and that is what we have solved over here. Now, what's the 2021 question number 11B? And this one, circle term, very, very easy. Now, this is the diagram that we have here. We have been told in the diagram, PQ touches the circle MNOP at P. MNOP at P. And then because it is touching it at a point, PQ becomes a tangent. Now, we have been told that um, NP is a diameter. So this NP is a diameter. Now, MPQ is 33, MPQ is 33 degrees, and then MPO is 67. M, that is um, PMO, PMO, the angle here is 67. You won't find M and O, and that's what I've done. I've drawn here so you can redraw it. Now we want to find the first one so you find M and we won't find M and O. So how can we find it? Now OP OP is a chord, and we know that the angle a chord makes at the circumference in the same segment are equal. Because of that, OP is making an angle of 67 degrees at M. The same OP is also making an angle at end. So if this is 67 degrees, the angle here is also 67 degrees. Why? The angle a chord makes at the circumference in the same segment are equal. So if this is 67, this is also 67. We also know that the angle a chord and a tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. Now, PQ is a tangent and this is making an angle that is the chord is MP and it is making an angle of 33 degrees so the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment will be um, the angle here this angle here will be equal to the angle here so this is also 33 degrees why are we saying that we are saying that the property says the angle a chord and a tangent makes is equal to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment now this chord is making an angle at the minor segment but then the alternate one is the major segment so if there's 33 the angle here is also 33. therefore that is our angle m n o is just 67 degrees plus 33 degrees and that's just 100 degrees that's very very easy we use two properties the angle a chord mix at the second frames in the same segment are equal and then we also use the angle a chord and the tangent mix equal to the angle the chord mix in the alternate segment so this is equal to 100 degrees that's the first one now let's see the second one we want to find angle mpo 
that is angle MPO. We want to find the angles over here. Now, we're told that MP is a diameter. And we know that the angle a diameter makes at the circumference is 90 degrees. So clearly, because NP is a diameter, so since NP is a diameter, this implies that that is angle N M P is equal to 90 degrees. So the angle here plus the angle here is equal to what? 90 degrees. So you can say that angle that is N M O plus 67 degrees this is equal to 90 degrees. The angle a diameter makes at the circumference is 90 degrees. So clearly our angle N M O equal to 90 degrees minus 67 degrees. Now 90 degrees minus 67 degrees and this is just 23 degrees. So it means that the angle here is 23 degrees. Now N O is a chord. The angle a chord makes at the circumference in the same segment, in the same segment are equal. So if this is 23, can you see NO is a chord? And this NO is making an angle at M. The same NO is making an angle at P. So if this is 23, the angle here is also 23 degrees. And then, so clearly, you can see that since um, NO is a chord, this implies that that is angle N M O is the same as angle N P O, and this is just 23 degrees. Now we want the angle over here. We want the angle over here. How can you get the angle over there? We know N P is a chord. This is a tangent. The angle no, N P is a diameter. N P is a diameter. And this is a tangent. The angle a diameter and a chord and a tangent mix is equal to 90 degrees. That is the angle, the angle a chord or a radius. The angle a radius or diameter mix with a tangent is 90 degrees. The angle a radius stroke diameter makes with a tangent is 90 degrees. So it means that this angle plus this angle should be equal to 90. So this implies that that is angle N P M plus 33 degrees. This is equal to um, 90 degrees. So clearly angle NPM is equal to 90 degrees minus 33 degrees. And 90 minus 30, that's 60. So this is just 57 degrees. What are we looking for? The thing we should look for MPO. 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 Therefore angle MPO, that is MPO, that's 23 plus um, 57. So that's 23 plus 57, and this is just 80 degrees. That's very, very easy. So the angle, a tangent, and a diameter radius make is equal to 90 degrees. So we use basically three properties. The first one that we use, the angle a chord makes in the same segment at the circumference are the same. And then we also use that the angle a diameter makes at the circumference is 90 degrees. We also use the angle a chord and the tangent makes go to the angle the chord makes in the alternate segment. That is very, very easy. Now for a complete lesson on wasi syllables, all the topics, please get in touch with me. Call the numbers right now for a copy. The pen drive contains 
wonderful lessons. Get the textbooks as well, and mathematics would be a thing of the you will never never feel you never be afraid of maths. You go to the examination hall with confidence because we've solved very very tough questions. Call the numbers that we are seeing on the screen. I don't know any challenge that you have in math, but when you get this product, math becomes very, very, very easy to you. It contains precise and concise lessons, that is video tutorials, both federal mathematics and then core or general mathematics. Call the numbers on your screen right now. Don't forget mathematics is a spectator spot. Get the product, get the books and maths will be very, very easy for you. Go through all the examples that I've done on the tutorials that is on the um, pen drive and I'm telling you enter into any examination hall with confidence because you know that there wouldn't be any question given to you that you wouldn't be able to solve. Let's consider the next question. Now let's consider this exam. This is WASI 2021 question number 12 and this is the A. Now circle theory. Very very easy question. The diagram PQR is a circle. So PQR that's a circle with center O. If angle RQO, that's RQO is 46 degrees, we want to find RPQ. RPQ. Now, we, have, we know center circumference relationship. The angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the circumference. Now, clearly, this is the center. So that's what I've drawn over here. Now, O R is the same as what? OQ. That's radius, radius. So this is the same as this. Clearly, R O Q forms an isosceles triangle. So if this is 46, the whole of the angle here is also 46 degrees. We want to find the angle over here. That is R O Q. Now, some of angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And this is equal to 1. 80 degrees. So x now what is 46 plus 46? That's 92 equal to 180 degrees. So x is equal to we have 180 degrees minus 92 degrees. So clearly 180 minus 92 and this is just 88 degrees. Therefore angle ROQ is equal to 88 degrees now we know that the angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the second frame so that is angle r o k is equal to two times angle r p q r o k is two times r p q now what is r o k r o k is 88 degrees that is what we are formed here, and this is equal to 2 times angle RPQ. We want to find angle RPQ. So we have 88 degrees over 2 equal to 2 angle RPQ all over 2. This cancels that 2 greater 1, 2 greater, that is 44. So we have angle RPQ to be equal to 44 degrees. That's very, very easy. So the angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the second frames. Call the numbers on the screen for a copy of this wonderful material. Now the pen drive is an OTG pen drive. You can use it on your phone as well as use it on any USB device as well. It is very, very affordable. It contains complete lessons on federal mathematics and um, elective that is or um, core mathematics as well very concise and precise lessons call the numbers and get a copy for yourself it is very very affordable call the numbers now let's consider this question that's wasi 2021 question number three the a is on circle theorem very very easy i don't know why um secretary is quite a challenge system is very very Easy. Let's go to say that in the diagram MNPR is a circle. So this is a circle. And then we have been to the reflex angle at O is 2 
204 degrees. So that's the angle over the 204 degrees. We are being told NMO is 52 degrees. We want to find the value of M. So that's the diagram that we have seen here. Yes, less, less. Um, it's better you if you can redraw, make sure that you redraw. Now, M P is a chord. So let's join. Let's join. Let's use short dashes. We are introducing it in the question. Now uh, we know we can have a center circumference relationship, and then we can find. Um, we can see that is M and P triangle. Add the angles in the triangle, which will be equal to what 180, and then we can find the M. Okay, now there's a reflex angle. We know that the whole angle is 360 degrees. Hence, what do you think will be the angle at the center? So here will be 360 minus 204, and this is just 156 degrees. That is MOP. MOP, so angle uh, MOP, that is equal to 360 degrees minus 204. And this is just 156 um, degrees, 156 degrees. Now, we know that that is MOP is an isosceles triangle. Why? Um, MO is the same as OP. And the base angles are the same. So if this is X, the angle here is also X. Why? MOP is an isosceles triangle. Sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180. That is in triangle MOP. What do you have? That is X plus 156 plus X equal to 180 degrees. X plus X, that is 2X plus 156 equal to 180 degrees. 2X equal to 180 degrees minus 156 degrees. So you have a 2X. Now 180 minus 156 and this is just equal to 24 so once find x we divide both side by 2 1 plus 12 so we have our x to be equal to 12 so this is 12 this is 12 now we can consider triangle um, m and p now triangle M and P, sum of angles, and it will be equal to what? 180. But then do we know the angle over here? So we have to find the angle at N. So here, uh, we can see that that is 52 degrees plus X plus the angle here, that is M plus X, then plus angle... M and P, this is equal to 180 degrees. We can find angle M and P, angle M and P. Now, the angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the second frame. So you know that that is angle M O P is equal to two times angle M and P. Now what is MOP? MOP is 156 degrees and it's equal to 2 times angle M and P. M and P. M and P. We want to find that is angle M and P. So we divide both sides by 2. So 156 degrees over 2 equal to 2 angle M and P. And this is about to this cancelling that. Now 2 go one. 2 go into 15, that is 7 times 16, so um, that will be 78. So clearly angle M and P is equal to 78 degrees. The angle a chord makes at the center is twice the angle that it makes at the circumference. Okay? So when you are looking for, so you have 52 degrees plus the X. What is the X? X is 12 plus M plus X. What is the X? 12 plus M and P which is 78 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now 52 plus 12 plus 12 plus 78 um, and this is giving us 154. 
So we have 154 degrees plus M equal to 180 degrees. So clearly our M is 180 degrees minus 154 degrees. And this is just equal to 26 degrees. That's very, very easy. Second theorem. Now for a complete lesson on what C further mathematics or core mathematics get my numbers call the numbers right now for a copy now all the videos are on pen drive and this pen drive is otg it is um, double sided that is one side you can use on your phone as well as use on any usb device as well it is very very affordable call the numbers i've explained all the topics on this pen drive get them i've solved very very challenging questions to on them. Call the numbers for one of these products.